Greetings everyone, Carl here and welcome to Metroid Zero Mission. This is part 4. There's just four missile blocks up there you gotta shoot out. Attack. Very, very useful in killing enemies in like Ridley. And also swing attack some blocks. I've attempted to store a shine spark and descend down this room, but it's is very tricky this room this we will have like a one column wide block for you to descend and it doesn't help that you have power grip <laughs> and there's no nothing in that room where you can perform a recharge this is the room that it which is the reason why i got virus suit like if you don't have virus suit and you have this amount of health, you can't take a dip in the lava. If you do, then it can mean really big trouble. wave beam which makes our beam even more powerful I attempted to set up a refill glitch but that did not go well the only of all the times I played this game uh, this game I only did the refill glitch successfully like once or twice like, I played this game for I think like close to several hundred times. And I'm still not really good at it. <laughs> you can just spam wave beam or shoot through while jumping and shoot missiles. Around where the shell, beginning of the shell is, hold a charge beam, release it in the transition and then you'll be able to shoot out that 2x2 two two block to be able to do a shine spark through the floor. Next up we're gonna fight the Amargo Cocoon and this this fight very tricky because of the positioning on the left side. Like, you gotta be at a very precise position on the left to be able to shoot diagonally like this. There are, there are other strategies where you do wall stunt jumps instead, or do a, like a curve jump and then shoot diagonally. It's up to you. Uh, now we're just he quickly heading out of Ridley. Not because we're afraid, it's because you gotta enter Ridley and get back out to trigger uh, this next boss. Don't want to 
stand here. You want to stand at the bottommost pit and shoot diagonally right and kill that uh, flying marble. You, you need to kill it in the first round. You missed this shine spark, don't do what I did and try to do it again. There's a wolf board tunnel. In the room where I'm about to shine spark through. And it's faster and easier to take the tunnel if you miss messed up the shine spark in the first place. Four blocks in front of the energy tank is the pit and you can do a jump extend to increase your chances of getting over. A jump extend involves doing a screw jump and interrupting it. And in the setting up the uh, ice beam glitch, you're going to kill that orange orb just then. Then freeze two enemies next to each other, go on top. Bomb and will morph immediately, and then you drop down straight under. How how that wo glitch work is very complicated. It involves like the uh, game sends you sends Samus to the respawn height of the bugs. She just falls and bombed in this ro room. The puzzle room. When you're ascending this column, don't hold up. Just tap up to shoot up and hold left and right to do wall jumps or... Or to quick onto ledges. If you hold up, you will, um... You will just morph up. And then you probably have to wait for the blocks to respawn. Although you can get out on morphing by... By tapping up, up if you're very close to the ledge. That's it for part 4, thank you for watching, have a nice day.